Thank you for inviting me uh, to the, your beautiful country. Um, my talk today will be on promoting gender equality, individual parental leave for fathers. Um, as many countries are searching for instruments that can promote uh, greater involvement for fathers in care work, uh, the Nordic and the Norwegian uh, parental leave experience uh, might be useful. Um, all the Nordic countries have introduced um, special incentives uh, for fathers to take parental leave. Uh, these incentives are called the father's quota system. Um, I will be focusing on the uh, Norwegian system and let's take a quick look at some important changes in the historical development of uh, the parental leave system in Norway. In 1909 we had a maternity leave introduced of six weeks then it, in 1977, uh, we had a, a gender-neutral paid parental leave uh, of 18 weeks, which was gradually increased during the years. And in 1993, we introduced a father's quota system uh, and also in, increased the, the parental leave system to 52 weeks. Um, and the reason for introducing the father's quota system was that very few fathers um, used any of the gender-neutral parental leave system. Uh, so that was the reason why it was changed. Now, what is the... Uh, uh, how is the father's quota designed? Uh, let me introduce the main characteristics. Um, it is an individual parental leave, which implies uh, that it is not given to families, but to individual family members, and in this case, to fathers. It is an earmarked uh, uh, leave, reserved for the fathers, and it is non-transferable, uh, which means that it cannot be transferred to the mother. Uh, it is an earnings-related uh, system, uh, which uh, based on both parents having been in the workforce for six months of the last ten months before the birth of the child. Uh, and it is um, fathers get paid their own wages fully compensated, which is very important. It is financed by the federal tax system, so it's, and it's therefore not dependent on policies of the different work organizations. It's the state that um, gives the funds. Now, all the Nordic countries uh, have followed similar paths of development, not exactly the same years, but clearly inspired by each other. All of them have introduced special quotas or incentives for fathers. After having experienced that um, uh, the um, parental leave the gender-neutral parental leave system given to, pair, to families did not promote father's use of uh, parental leave. Um, as you see, I'm, I'm very happy that my own country, Norway, was the first to introduce this in 1993. Um, so in Norway now, we have had the father's quota system for 25 years. And together with my colleague, I have followed uh, the development of and reception of the father's quota in Norway since its introduction in 1993. Um, and as I've said, before 1993, we had a parental leave which, was, which could be shared between the parents. Um, 
1993, this special quota, was quota system was introduced, uh, together with a general increase of the parental leave to 52 weeks. Um, now, what was the reasons for uh, introducing uh, the father's quota? Uh, it was a child perspective uh, to increase uh, the father's contact with the child. Secondly, it was a, a, a father perspective uh, that to um, empower father's involvement in childcare. And thirdly, it was a uh, the equality between mothers and fathers. So it was argued that the father's quota would give strong signals that men as well as women are parents with obligations and rights uh, as caregivers. And according to the white papers uh, that were produced before introducing the father's quota, there were these three reasons. The child perspective, the uh, father perspe perspective, the equality perspective. So, let's take a closer look at the uh, development uh, of the father's quota since it was introduced in 1993. Uh, you see uh, the first line there, uh, the, and it's uh, f just follow the pink. Uh, uh, table. In 1993, the uh, uh, total number of weeks was 52 weeks, uh, and the father's quota was four weeks uh, of the uh, parental leave system. Uh, it was later gradually extended uh, to 14 weeks in 2013. Then we had a change in government. We had a, a change from a social democratic government to a right-wing government, and they wanted to do away with the whole quota system. Uh, the people went on the streets and demonstrated, and there were heated political discussions. So uh, the government changed their mind and wanted to gradually reduce the quota uh, and, and then do away with it uh, in a number of years. It was um, reduced in 2014 by the Conservative government to uh, 10 weeks. Uh, and what happened then, after the quota was reduced to 10 weeks, the percentage of leave taken by fathers decreased substantially. Uh, which led the Conservative government to stop reducing the quota, and instead they have now introduced 15 weeks of father's quota. And it is interesting that in the public debate, uh, they admitted that they had been wrong in thinking that we did not need the quota system. Uh, in addition to the father's quota, uh, the fathers in Norway uh, have um, a two weeks of paternity leave uh, to be taken after the birth of the child. What has happened during the 25 years that we have had these regulations, the quota system? The main conclusion is that increased quota leads to increase in father's use of parental leave. In 1993, only 4% of Norwegian fathers um, used any parental leave. And in the course of seven years, this number was in, uh, increased to uh, 85%. And after 2000, it has late and it has continuously stayed on 90% of Norwegian fathers using the uh, quota system. Every time uh, the quota has been increased, the father's uptake has also increased. 
which means more fathers, more Norwegian fathers taking longer parental leave. So, uh, from this, we can con conclude that uh, design matters. The design of the parental leave matters. And it illustrates a point made by uh, two researchers, Brighthouse and Wright, uh, based on comparative analysis, they distinguish between policies that promote equality and those that enable equality. They find that shared parental leave granted to the family enables parental leave, parents to adopt egalitarian strategies, but do not represent strong incentives for actually sharing their leave rights while paid leave granted to individual uh, parents, in this case fathers, which lapses if not used, promote more inequality, equality. This is why an expert committee in Norway, introducing a white paper for the government, uh, has uh, suggested, has suggested uh, six months of individual leave to fathers and six uh, months for mothers. I was a member of that committee, I'm pleased to say, uh, and we presented the, this white paper in last year, in 2017, and we'll, we just have to see what happens in the political discussions now. Uh, so, uh, just... We've done several, uh, several uh, research uh, uh, programs uh, about this, uh, the effect of the uh, quota. And what we can see that during these years, uh, the father's quota in, has now enjoys a high degree of support uh, among uh, fathers in Norway. And we find that it has become a norm among men in Norway to take leave when they have become fathers. Uh, and you see it is also, in t I won't go through these quotes, but they are quotes from some of the interviews we've taken. It is interpreted as a right as a, and as an obligation and seen as a signal from the welfare state that fathers are expected to engage in uh, taking care of small children. Uh, and several fathers indicated that if they had not taken the father's quota, they would have to explain themselves to others. So it has certainly become a norm. And we also see that that there is a, a general support among employers for fathers' uh, caregiving responsibilities. Uh, in the, this second quote, we see that the father's quota has existed for a quarter of a century, which means that men who have advanced to management positions in organizations have taken father's leave themselves. They have this experience. And this uh, experience influences what is considered fair and feasible. And uh, this, uh, in this quote, we see a doctor in a large hospital uh, described how his leave taking was received by his director, who was 60 years old, and uh, he urged him to stay home for a longer period of time because he had experienced uh, this himself. Um, so, uh, we see that there is working life has adapted uh, to uh, 
this situation. And it is seen as, uh, in this quote, we see that uh, it is seen as working life belonging to a modern world that also fathers take parental leave. And if we uh, see what happens to fathers, how they see themselves as caregivers, we can see that they have become empowered as caregivers. And they uh, see it as um, unfair. They compute, they, uh, the fathers communicated uh, an identity as competent caregivers and attributed this to the t their time on leave when they had gotten to know the child well. And this is mainly if they stay at home alone, without the mother, when the mother goes back to work. They thought that the children benefit from close contact with their fathers, and that fathers are significant caregivers for children. And they have started to think that it is un quite unfair that only mothers are regarded as important uh, for their children. Um, one of them says, speaking as a man, I think this is a new situation for gender, gender equality. I've, I have been able to prove that I can just be just as good a carer as the mother. I think it is super important. And they justify uh, their entitlement to leave as based on their ability to care for their small children and think the father's quota contributes to their being seen as important parents. So, to conclude, uh, I will say that the design of the parental leave system is important. Design matters. To summarize, why does the a father's quota work? Why has it been a great success in Norway and other Nordic countries? It is because it is an individual right for uh, employee, employees. Um, it is a statutory uh, right founded in the uh, Norwegian law. Uh, and that is, it is earmarked and non-transferable to the mother. And it is a generous system. It's a quite a long uh, uh, leave, and it is a high benefit level. Thank you for atten your attention. This. Thank you very much, I, I just want to say. <laughs> This is another father who stay, who likes the cold climate, and stays home looking after his child when when the mother goes out fetching the food. Thank you. Thank you very much, Aline.